Hey everyone and welcome to my channel Appalachian Home Co. So today we are going to be doing a super easy sublimation project using some car air fresheners. These are so adorable. They are made from thick, stiff felt material. I got these from Amazon. You can add decorations to them, make them for your car, or you can make them for friends, or even package these to sell, which is what I plan to do on some craft fairs this year. So I will be showing you all the materials you will need and the heat settings that I use to create these. I will leave a link to these air fresheners. These came from Amazon. They came in a pack of 50. They also come with some elastic string to tie onto the top and some little clear packaging. These are about three inches by four inches. They are really thick, good quality material and they have a little hole at the top so that you can tie your string. Also for this project, I'm gonna be using some butcher paper, some heat tape and just a piece of cardstock to place my designs on to protect my heat press. Of course you'll need your printed design which I'll show you how to do in just a second and I am going to be using a sub sublimation paper. You'll also need a sublimation printer and I'm going to be using my HTV Ront automatic heat press which I love so we'll go ahead and get started. So now I'm going to show you how I created my designs. I went to a program called canva.com. When you pull up canva.com you'll come to the home screen and you'll want to create a design. I scrolled down to custom size to make a size that was just a little bit bigger than my car freshies that I got from Amazon. If you change your units to inches, you can type in any width and height for your canvas size. I made mine 3.25 by four and a half inches. That turned out to be just a little bit big, so you may wanna size that down a little bit. The actual size of those car fresheners are about three and an eighth by four and a quarter. Something more close to that size would work. You wanna go ahead and Click on that and then you'll come up with a blank canvas that is around the size of your car freshener. So you can do this two ways. You can either create your own, make your own design, which is what I did with this one here. I just got some clip art out of Canva's clip art and just created some different designs. I also put in a watercolor background and created some text to fit on this square. You can also go to Etsy and some places like that and actually drag in your own file. So for this one, I'll show you how I did this one. Here is my blank canvas. I went to Etsy and purchased some B clip art. Once you download the PNG from Etsy, you can just drag and drop it onto your screen here in Canva and it will automatically pull up on your screen. And then you can resize it to actually fit your car freshie. Um, I made mine just a little bit bigger because I wanted some of these sides cut off just a little bit. And then I went into elements and typed in watercolor and I searched under photos and it brought up a lot of images of just plain watercolor backgrounds. So I chose one that was kind of close to the same colors as the B and you can just arrange these to fit the background of your canvas. And if you go to position, you can send the watercolor all the way to the back. So your design um, that you originally uploaded shows through. So that is how I created all of these um, little car fresheners. And to add another design or canvas, you just hit this little add page icon and it automatically adds another page. And if you want to delete one, you can just go ahead and delete it. But once you have all of your designs, you can go to share and then download. I'm gonna download it as a PNG. I'm gonna download all six pages. I left in the background because I want this um, watercolor background to be to remain with my design. So then you just hit download and it will download it to your downloads folder. So there are a couple ways you can actually print out your design. I'm gonna go to Cricut because that was the easiest for me. If you go into design space and create a new project, you can upload your artwork from Canva directly there. So I'm gonna to go to Upload, Upload Image, and go to the file that you just downloaded from Canva and just drag that onto your screen. I'm gonna upload this as a complex project to leave in all my colors. And I don't wanna erase any areas, so apply and continue. And you, I wanna upload it as a print and cut image even though you don't have to cut these out with Cricut. I'm gonna upload it as a print then cut. Once you upload it to your canvas, you just add to canvas. You definitely want to make sure and check the dimensions. 
anytime I upload to Cricut Design Space, my dimensions are always, always off on my project. So you want to change those back down to what you created in Canva. So I'm going to change my height to 4.25 inches. And now I have the correct size for my car freshie. Also want to duplicate it with Control D because I'm going to need a front and back for my car fresheners. And just to make cutting easier, um, I'm going to align these to the top or bottom just so that they're aligned. You also want to attach these so when they print out, this is exactly how they will print out. Now you're ready to make it. And you can see um, you, this is how your design is going to print out. It's going to come with registration marks, which you can actually send this to your Cricut to perfectly cut out these squares, but I'm not going to go through all that project process. Um, you can also add a project copy to fill up your sublimation paper. So I'm going to hit two and apply. Um, and you can see here you can get actually a quite, quite a lot of these on one page. So now I'm just going to go to continue and send this to my printer. I'm going to be using my Epson 2760 sublimation printer. It's very important. You have to use sublimation ink with this project or it will not work. I'll turn off the bleed because I don't want my colors to bleed. And there's a couple of settings that I like to use for my certain printer because that turns out the best whenever I'm printing out sublimation. So if you go to preferences in your printer, I like to change the paper top to premium presentation paper matte. And then I'm going to up the quality to high. Also, most importantly, um, if you go to more options, you definitely want to mirror your image. This means flip it so that it prints out backwards. Anytime you're sublimating, you want to print your image out mirrored. You can also do this on your canvas by just flipping your image, but I like to do it here because it gets all of my images at once. So now I'm just going to hit OK and go ahead and send this to my printer. And I'm also using Cosmos ink. Um, I'll leave a link where you can find this online, but I love this ink. It prints out super vibrant and all of the designs press super vibrant as well. <laughs> So now we are ready to press our designs. I'm just going to go ahead and center these car fresheners on the center of my printout. And I just made sure that the edges were lined up straight when placing these. I'm also going to take this heat tape and tape them down to this piece of cardstock. That's the easiest way I found just to keep them in place until I got them into my heat press. I'm also going to sandwich these pieces in between two pieces of butcher paper just to protect everything from the sublimation ink. I have my heat press heating up to 380 degrees Fahrenheit. That pressed perfectly on this particular type of sublimation car freshener. If you're using a different kind, you may want to do some testing, but I pressed these at that temperature for 45 seconds and they turned out great on the first time. So you can see I'm sandwiching here that butcher paper be below and above the car fresheners. And the great thing about this heat press is you just hit a button, it presses itself. It releases when it's done. All you have to do is pull out the drawer and remove it. I love this heat press. Definitely my favorite. I will leave a link for it in the description box. You can go check it out. It's very super inexpensive. There's a deal actually going on right now with this heat press. But you can see how vibrant these colors turned out on these car fresheners. Um, I love the Cosmos ink. Best ink I've ever tried. Um, I've heard good things about other inks. But I just haven't went wrong with the Cosmos ink. So... I'm going to flip these over and do the other side to finish the back.
So now to finish these off, I'm just going to add some string that actually came with these particular car fresheners. I cut about eight to 10 inches of string and folded it in half and just threaded it through the little hole that's already there on the car freshener. And then I just tied a knot up at the top to close it in. And that gave me plenty of room to put on a car window or whatever you're gonna hang these on. So these turned out so cute. The only thing left to do now is just to add your scents. I actually used some diffuser oils on mine. You just gotta make sure that if you have a white background like on this one, that your oil is clear and not yellow because that will stain it a little bit. But you can also use room spray or perfume bath and body work spray whatever you like on your car fresheners you can add beads bows however you want to decorate these and you can even put these in packaging to sell like i'm going to at the craft fair so i hope you guys enjoyed this video found it helpful got some new ideas coming up this fall and i'm gonna have a lot more fall diy videos coming up as well so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys back again in my next video